Welcome to Saturday. Coming up, how doctors in Oxford are using virtual reality to help doctors in Africa save more lives. Doctors at the University of Oxford are using virtual reality to train doctors in Africa. The technology is a low-cost way of providing training overseas that should lead to more lives being saved. David Lum reports. The virtual world this headset transports you to is a reality for doctors and nurses across Africa. In this scenario, a baby's unconscious. Okay. Select the best course of action to take to resuscitate the baby. Players need to make a choice. Okay. Will this breathing mask work? Start. It's so difficult to give high quality training um, across huge countries such as Kenya where training centers are widely dispersed. With this type of approach you can essentially put the expert in the room with people at, at huge distances um, and at relatively low cost. Children dying is a major problem in Africa. One in ten dies before their fifth birthday. It's hoped the headset can drastically reduce this. If we can improve life-saving skills for people, particularly around the newborn period, but also for older children, there's huge potential still to save lives. And for those without access, there's even a mobile phone game to train them. The first app we're doing is to resuscitate a newborn baby. So the key steps that you need to do in order to successfully resuscitate a baby, we've tried to put into a kind of game-based format. We have multiple choice questions and answers, and we also have a 3D environment, which is a hospital that you can navigate through to find equipment. The technology is still being tested, but it's hoped it could soon be used to save lives across the world. David Lum, BBC South Today. Developer.